My name's Neil Johnson, professional snooker coach. I represent 21st Century Q Sports, and I'm here to introduce to you two groundbreaking products in the world of Q Sports. Firstly, we have the multi-award winning Gravity Q. And even at first glance, you can see by the way the Q acts, it displays completely different characteristics to that of a standard Q. The Gravity Q has been scientifically proven to assist the player to, amongst other things, Q straighter. It also represents the biggest legal leap forward in Q technology for over 200 years. The second product that we have is the 360 Pure Q Action Trainer. Now this unusual looking thing has been developed to completely transform the way a player hones the skill levels required to function as one unit with the Q and represents the most personal level of effective coaching you could ever wish to have. Now to enable us to look at the Gravity Q in more detail, I firstly need to explain to you the reasons for its conception. To do this, we need to consider the general mechanics of the action with regard to how the player forms with the cue and why a consistently straight action can seem so elusive. The most obvious of these flaws is out and out lateral movement of the arm. This is the biggest cue action killer of them all and with a standard cue offering virtually no discernible resistance to this flaw, the arm practically takes the cue all the way with it at the same rate. The second flaw is a lot less obvious but for this reason, a lot more common than you may think. To various degrees, due to the way we are constructed, twisting of the wrist is apparent in virtually every player's cue action. Unfortunately, as this footage displays, due to the axis it turns on, the cue doesn't rotate in a straight line in the player's hand, even when the player keeps the cue in contact with the chest. Again, a standard cue offers virtually no resistance to this rotation, and these are the two main flaws the Gravity Q has been designed to help conquer. Through its unique patented construction, the Gravity Q has been developed to provide resistance to both of these innate mechanical flaws. On average, not only does it provide 15% more resistance to lateral movement than the standard Q, it also provides an average resistance to rotation that is 300 times that of a standard Q. These high levels of resistance stem from the Q's unique, predetermined strong bias. And this is achieved through its scientifically developed split-keeled weighting system that, not unlike a boat, carries both primary and secondary stability. Even with the assistance of shipbuilding scientists, aeronautic designers, biomechanics and the Q makers themselves, it still took three and a half years to develop, but the result is a cue with a stabilizing mechanical advantage over any cue gone before, a cue that discourages both wrist rotation and lateral movement of the arm, encouraging a straighter, smoother, more powerful, consistent cue action, even with the rest. The more you play with and conform to what the gravity cue is encouraging you to do, the sooner you will experience the benefits of a more unified relationship between yourself and the cue. Together with its ultra-low centre of gravity and the compliance of the player, the Gravity Q is designed to consistently attempt to balance out the imbalances in the player's hand and wrist. This in turn has a gradual gathering effect on the rest of the body, causing it to fall in line with a more productive functioning of the hand. Further evidence of the Gravity Q's accuracy-inducing powers are displayed through the Q-tip, Often, the sign of a good player is the way their tip wears more on one side than the other. This is due to the fact that they are, within reason, holding and functioning with the cue in a fairly consistent manner. A tip on a gravity cue tends to exaggerate this effect further. This is purely due to the cue's discouragement of rotation and therefore a more consistent strike pattern. On comparison, once you've embraced and experienced the effect of the gravity cue, you will realise just how little, by way of assistance, a standard cue gives you. And now we take a closer look at the 360 Pure Q Action Trainer. We have here a specifically designed Q body that is held together by a self-centering spring mechanism. The mechanism itself has been carefully developed 
to be just strong enough to support itself as one unit in a straight line. However, any imbalance of forces outside this from any conceivable angle along the queue line will result in a bending of the queue and therefore a breaking of the queue line. So from the moment you take hold of the queue to prepare for the shot, the queue is instantly challenging you to function as one unit with it through 360 degrees. This represents the purest form of queuing and therefore every conceivable flaw in the player's queue action will result in an immediate flexing of the queue and a complete loss of control over the shot in hand. This includes everything from the queuing up phase to the backswing to the all-important delivery of the cue, whether the floor be out and out lateral arm movement, twisting of the wrist, or until now, undetectable flaws like turning of the wrist, which has been the real hidden controlling factor to why arm movement occurs in the first place. Also, excessive downward pressure that is in actuality not just downward pressure at all. For example, a right-handed player will naturally press down and to the left, whilst a left-handed player will press down and to the right. There is also drastic deviances in cue plane, up or down. They too are also highlighted. Even the player's rhythm is put under the microscope. Any failings in tempo through the various transition phases in the action, again, result in an instant loss of control. For example, queuing up too quickly or out of sync, completing a backswing too quickly or anything that is out of accordance with the shot in hand, and very importantly, any delivery of the cue that is out of sync with the backswing or at a tempo that is unsuitable to your true natural rhythm. All these things are directly related to and responsible for the dreaded snatch. Now whilst the 360 Pure Q Action Trainer has the power to detect any flaw in any player's action, including rest play, it also provides the means to the absolute optimum version of your playing self. However, anything this effective doesn't come without a degree of input from the player himself. By attempting to conquer this Q, you are attempting to conquer the fact that we are, by nature, not designed to wield a straight Q. This is in the main due to the fact that the direction of the shot is generally dictated by how the hand functions. The better the hand functions with the cue, the more inclined the body is to fall in unison. The simple fact is that if our aspirations are to become players consistently capable of playing every shot in the book, we are therefore compelled to of course hold the cue with four fingers on one side and only the thumb on the other. This alone creates an immediate natural complex imbalance of forces on the cue line and in turn, an immediate problem that very few players ever truly overcome. The good news is that none of these stumbling blocks we have covered in this presentation are within reason beyond any player. From the moment you pick up and begin playing with the 360, you will begin to move towards a straighter, smoother, uninhibited, purified version of yourself. Not only will you instantly be made consciously aware of the route you need to take to such goals, your subconscious will begin to reprogram and override the bad habits and replace them with good ones. With practice, you will begin to find a way to play more and more shots without bending the cue. Confident in the knowledge that the more accomplished you become with it, the closer you are to developing into the player you can be. In conclusion, we have two groundbreaking products here that work together in both a training and game playing sense. And between them, have the capability to bring out your full potential as a player.